five incredible concept homes we want today. Contrary to popular belief, sleeping in a culvert is not a sign of financial hardship. In this innovative, new concept design by Nendo, the culvert guest house involved building a simple retreat out of precast concrete box culverts that are typically used to construct waterways and tunnels. The culvert guest house is in Maya Tamaki, Japan, and serves as both a storage facility and a rural retreat. It is made of four stacked concrete pipes with a roof section in the middle. The interior is divided into two storage rooms. Additional storage spaces will be added as needed, and the living area, which includes a kitchen and bathroom on the first floor, and a bedroom and study area on the second floor. The structure also serves as a shaded terrace. Although some of the interior spaces are small and may be uncomfortable for claustrophobes, the building's generous glazing helps to bring light inside. Nendo made great efforts to preserve the project's ultra-minimalist appearance. The company even designed its own door handles that are concealed in the tiny space between the door and the wall so as not to detract from the aesthetic. The entire construction process sounds very complicated. In order to give the project a uniform appearance, and hopefully prevent water leakage during heavy rainfall. Nendo used post-tension cables to join together a total of 63 sections of box culvert. The size of the parts was determined by the weight that could be lifted by a crane and the loading size of the delivery truck. The 63 common square-shaped parts, which weigh about 12 tons each, were used. The 45-degree reinforcement at the entry corner, which is also found in general box culverts, acts as a brace and improves earthquake resistance by connecting these parts. 14 post-tension cables were used to connect each tunnel, with care taken to apply uniform tension to each cable at all times. The work involved gradually tightening the cables over time, until a tension of 46 tons was finally applied to each. Dreaming of these creative, tiny houses with a luxury interior design and a modern open concept floor plan? Keep watching! There is no denying that plastic pollution is a problem for our planet. It can be seen everywhere, from piles of trash gathered in the oceans to tiny plastic particles found in our blood. By Fusion, a Los Angeles-based startup has developed an innovative method of dealing with this trash by turning it into practical and handy building blocks known as Bi-Blocks. The company uses a device called the Blocker System, which uses steam and compression to quickly turn waste into building blocks. The biggest benefit is that, unlike most recycling operations, the trash is not washed before use. Instead, the Blocker System uses the garbage as is and shreds it into tiny pieces that can easily be combined to form building blocks. Advanced engineering is used in the process to create ready-to-use blocks that can be used by any construction company. The only drawback of the by blocks is that they are susceptible to sunlight. However, this can be easily remedied by painting them clear or combining them with a strong weather resistant material. The by blocks function just as well as cement blocks. By 2030, the company plans to recycle 100 million tons of plastic. To accomplish this, 12 additional blockers are anticipated to be installed soon across the United States, which would undoubtedly help the environment by being a little less plastic cluttered. Bifusion now has a complete production facility in LA that can handle up to 450 tons of plastic annually. The company is estimated to have recycled 103 tons of plastic thus far. I'm not kidding when I think they should co-brand with Legos. You heard it here first, folks. What do you think? Are there enough LEGO kids now grown to build with this product? Some tiny homes expand their width to create more interior space. Others enlarge by moving either outward or upward. Romania's Cabana takes the Edelweiss in an innovative direction by stacking one tiny house on top of another. 
Structurally, the Cabana Edelweiss is composed of a support frame made from square metal pipes that is insulated with a PIR sandwich panel using rock wool and finished in a fibre cement facade with wooden detailing. It was constructed in two separate units at the company's headquarters and then trucked to a picturesque location. The Cabana Edelweiss is a two-storey building that is 36 square metres in size. Thanks to floor-to-ceiling windows with built-in privacy blinds, the interior is bright and airy. Although, as is customary with these kinds of models, the idea is to collaborate with the clients to select the materials and appliances they want. The furnishings and finish are of a high standard in this cabana. A generously sized living room with seating and some storage space occupies the majority of the ground floor. A kitchen with plenty of cabinet space is located nearby with a microwave oven and an electric hot plate. The bathroom, which is finished in elite stone with a shower, sink and toilet, is also located downstairs and partially tucked under the staircase. The upper floor is reached via a staircase and a bedroom occupies the majority of this space. The view has generous glazing, and unlike most tiny homes, it has enough space to stand upright. It also has a nice outdoor space. The Edelweiss's price will vary depending on the options selected, but this particular model, which does include furniture and appliances, costs $100,000. The company claims that delivery to all countries is possible, and that it can also be purchased with solar panels for an off-the-grid setup. Even though it only accounts for a small portion of the housing market at the moment, leading the charge is Icon, which is moving forward on a plan revealed last year to build a new neighbourhood in Texas made up of 100 3D printed homes. 3D printed architecture is expanding extremely quickly, and it's possible to envision large numbers of Americans living in robot constructed homes in the near future. The Genesis Collection at Wolf Ranch, a project run by Icon, Hillwood Communities and Leonard is currently being built in Georgetown, close to Austin. The homes themselves were designed by renowned architecture from Jack Inglis Group, and like earlier Icon projects, the homes are being built in place using its own Vulcan 3D printer. In order to construct the vertical wall structure, 3D printers will extrude layers of a cement-like proprietary mixture known as Lava Creek from a nozzle. There will be eight different styles of homes, ranging in size from 1,574 to 2,112 square feet, that the builders will then complete by adding a metal roof, doors, windows and anything else needed. The houses will have a single floor, three to four bedrooms and up to four bathrooms. Their overall design is inspired by traditional Texas ranches and from the renderings at least, the interiors look appealing and light filled with those telltale ribbed walls indicating that they were 3D printed rather than constructed using traditional methods. The houses will use less grid based energy thanks to a solar panel system and will be equipped with smart home technology including a ring video doorbell, a Wi-Fi operated lock, a smart thermostat and a security package. Icon has produced very affordable housing for homeless people in Mexico and the Austin area, but the Genesis collection at Wolf Ranch is expected to price in line with recent 3D printed homes in the range of $400,000 and up. Lazzarini is presenting his most ambitious project to date. According to the Italian design firm, Architect Pierpaolo Lazzarini's idea for a massive vessel structure that could house an entire city gave rise to the idea of a terror yacht in 2009. The terror yacht is essentially a city on the water shaped like a huge sea turtle. Its enormous length is 1,800 feet and its maximum beam is 2,000 feet. Vessels can enter this floating city through a huge gate on the structure's back, but that's not all. Additionally, side gates are incorporated into the design. 30,000 cells make up the hull. The basement consists of numerous compartments that are connected to one another by corridors, and this area acts as an unsinkable floating solution for it. Regarding the floating structure, 
It can house a variety of facilities due to its enormous size. Lazzarini claims that it can provide up to 60,000 accommodations. The Pangios has beach clubs and many villas in addition to resorts and side apartments. A mall and a sizeable rooftop garden are also present. Nine HTS engines are intended to power the Terry Yacht. Each motor is entirely electric and has the power to propel the ship at five knots. It's not much, but keep in mind that we're talking about a huge floating city. The Pangios is just a fascinating idea for now, of course, but Lazzarini aspires to make it a reality someday. For this insane vessel, the design studio even conjured up a Terra shipyard, a 390,000 square meter shipyard in Saudi Arabia would serve as the Pangios's launch pad.